Right. Next, the backpack. Let me talk a little bit about the backpack. Uh, this one looks really, really unruly, but it's holding up really nicely. I think I bought it in Czech Republic. Uh, it has to have these things on it. They go around your waist, and they're supposed to transfer some of the load from your uh, shoulders to your hips. On my backpack, I keep a lot of this kind of stuff. This is like a cheap bicycle lock. I like to fasten my backpack to something that they can't easily break open or whatever so that they don't just pick up the backpack and wander off with it. Some of these other locks, like this master lock here, are because it's actually keeping this zip pocket in the bottom open. I know what I'm getting in that way. I've got a couple other locks that I've rigged up to keep this closed and stuff like that. Actually, what I really recommend is they've got this cage thing that you can get for the backpack. It costs like 80 or 100 bucks. Uh, you can stick your entire pack inside of it. It's like a mesh cage and then you lock it to something. It's even got a thing that locks it to something else. I recommend that. Actually, after going through all this other shit and all these locks and stuff like that, I'm thinking if I run across a country that has anything like that, I'll probably fucking pick it up. Yeah, it makes the backpack look a little bit more conspicuous, but if you combine it in with the burlap bag thing, where you pretty much just got burlap bag cover over your backpack, that may really do the trick. Um, the backpack itself has all kinds of neat pockets and features that I'm not going to bother to tell you about. But one thing I will say is one, one thing I didn't really know when I was getting a backpack is how big do I get? The answer is if you're an average size person, like if you're female, you may have to get a little smaller one or whatever if your frame's just too friggin' small for it. But I would recommend getting an 80 liter bag or bigger. The reason is, is that if it's like a 100 liter or whatever and it's too big, it doesn't matter. You don't have to put a lot of stuff into it. The backpack weight doesn't really increase all that much depending on the liters. But a lot of what you'll be carrying is clothes. Clothes don't weigh a lot, but they do take up space unless you're dumb and wear like blue jeans and stuff like that. Those things fucking weigh. But for normal cotton clothes and pants and crap like that, you're not really carrying a lot of weight. It's just bulk. So bigger is better on a backpack, in my opinion, at least 80 liters. So now I'm gonna put stuff up so you can see what goes inside. First off, we have the waterproof bags. These things are awesome. They're in Walmart, like free for $10. You get one of these, these, and these for $10. I really like them. Um, don't do stupid stuff like I did and write socks on it because there ain't gonna be fucking socks in it, guaranteed. You're gonna change stuff around once you travel for any length of time. Because honestly, I found that putting clothes into these is a huge pain in the ass. But for electronics and all that kind of shit, like for example in this other one here this is my kindle i got a big kindle mistake get a small kindle like pete has pete's awesome get one like he has anyway so that's the kindle uh waterproof bag happy other things that i keep in my backpack include toilet paper this is one I bought in the U.S. Each one of these little three rolls that came with it is good for one, maybe two goes. This is fucking Central and Eastern European toilet paper. There's no hole in the middle. It's a nice big roll. And that's, it's awesome stuff. I mean, sure, it's not the most gentle or anything like that, but when you're crapping in some filthy fucking toilet that doesn't even have toilet paper, this is your buddy. Personally, I recommend keeping the toilet paper in one of the side pockets. The words easy access in case of emergencies come to mind. A dirty, fucked up looking pack of playing cards. Uh, despite having the pens that exploded from Georgia, thank you, Georgia, wrapped in plastic, uh, these did get a little ink on them and stuff. But I recommend carrying a pack of playing cards with you. Again, it's a side pocket thing. They're not really worth stealing or anything like that, but it's amazing how often that you'll just want to play solitaire or something like that. Cigarettes. I smuggled in a shitload of cigarettes from uh, some other country in order to smoke for personal use, down to a few packs of those. Again, it's a side pocket thing.
extra book for writing in. The Bosnian saying, a smart or a dumb man remembers, a smart man writes it down, definitely true. You should record your travels. You're going to want that stuff later. I've had some people say, oh, I was going to write a diary, but then I end up spending more time writing and less time doing, blah, 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 Ooh, take a fucking longer vacation, just write more. So anyway, I recommend keeping some sort of log or something like that of your travels. It'll be very nice for you later, possibly for other people now. Even though it's in its own plastic thing, I still keep it in another plastic bag. I'm gonna need to get more of these. Usually I have two to four on me at any given time. These do weigh a little bit. That doesn't make me fucking happy, but I'm a writer, so here we go. The same book, but wrapped. I was just showing you this because like cheap plastic bags that you get at any grocery store when you buy shit, they're useful later. Save them, especially ones you like, you know, a little thicker or something like that, save them. This is a uh, weird Georgian cold medicine in a plastic bag. The guys at Batumi Hospital, when I started to get a cold, they were like, oh, you gotta drink this shit. And I was like, ah, but I tried it anyway and damned if it didn't work. So I bought an extra two colds worth because you only need like two packets of stuff. You put it in your hot water and mix it up and it tastes like really awful tea. But fuck, it worked. It worked quick. Got rid of the cold in like two days. I was like, woo. So I keep that just because. It probably won't be able to be replaced once it's used up, but, you know, for the next two colds, it's going to kill it. This thing weighs a little bit. It's a blood pressure monitor. Hopefully nobody else out there has to fucking worry about this. I do. Inside of the box, it's wrapped in plastic because we wrap everything in fucking plastic. If you don't, you will be sorry later. And according to this, well, according to this, my blood pressure is like uh, 150 over 90 or 100. Not really sure. Although I do play a doctor on this podcast, blog, whatever, I'm not really one. And Julie Jones is not here to take my blood pressure and tell me to start shaping up. So I have to make guesses with this equipment because the electronic one costs way too fucking much. Oh, hi. I also have a pair of binoculars. Remember, it's illegal to bring binoculars into the country of Egypt. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to have these much longer. I don't use them near enough. They're probably garbage soon. I'm just reluctant to throw them out because, you know, they're binoculars. I also have a Crown Royal bag because I'm a gamer and we have those things with Six more batteries, two refills for the LED flashlight I showed you earlier. Um, a lot of websites warn you that batteries that you get from other countries are absolutely shit. I have no idea if it's true. I'm still going on batteries from the US. I brought way too many when I started. Uh, most of my stuff doesn't even use batteries. You, you need a lot less batteries than you think though. I mean. Don't, don't bring a whole lot of batteries. I've been carrying these fucking batteries for 15 goddamn countries now, and I'm about sick of them, but I'm scared to throw them out because all the air batteries are supposed to be shit, so I'm just stuck lugging these fucking batteries around the world. Don't want to do it anymore. A nice, thick plastic bag, because you need them. Some uh, thin string or cord. This stuff is really, really useful in some of the shittier hostels that you can't find a place to uh, hang up your clothes and stuff like that. You can always make your own uh, clothes hanging lines. Uh, it just has a lot of different possible uses. Bring it along. When it runs out, buy some more cord. If possible, try to get one of these things. They don't weigh much and you can wrap all your cord on it. And whatever you do, don't let any Georgians borrow it forever. Make them buy their own. They need to buy their own. It's better. It's better. Don't give up your fucking cord. Remember how I said there's a lot of uses for bandanas? This is one of them. Wow, how did it open? That's the miracle of the pause button, my friend. The miracle of the pause button. Anyway, so, a... I keep my medicines in there, but I'm also going to stick them into a nice waterproof bag. Ding! Aha! 
Remember how I said everything in your backpack takes a beating? These used to be uh, these old people sunglasses. They fit over uh, top of my glasses. Very lovely. Can't find these fuckers anywhere. Uh, but I have to carry around the broken ones in hopes that I get to a country that has this kind of stuff. And these are solar shield with advanced UV protection. Not sold in stores near me. So, you gotta carry around the broken ones because then you can pull it out and ask if they have that. Because otherwise, if you try to pantomime this, they'll just try to sell you different sunglasses. A fucking hat. You would not believe how many people travel without a fucking hat. I don't know why. You know you're going to fucking need a hat. You're going to be out in the desert. You're going to be in the rain. You're going to be in all kinds of messed up situations. You want some sort of hat that you can easily roll up and stuff away somewhere. You don't want one that requires a fucking hat box or you to continually be cognizant of where it is or anything like that. You want something that's easy, cheap, disposable if necessary. Like baseball caps, fine, really. Uh, French Foreign Legion hat, whatever the fuck you want, as long as you can roll it up and stuff it in your pocket without ruining it, that's a good hat. Uh, otherwise you're going to get sunstroke and shit like that, or rained on, snowed on, whatever. Bring a fucking hat, really. This is my hat. It's old. It makes me look silly. I don't care. I like it. It rolls up easily. Shoes. Alright. Believe it or not, I'm up to three pair of shoes. These are going to die pretty fucking soon. Not sure when, but probably as soon as I get done shooting this picture. Anyway, these are slip on, slip off. Don't recommend them. Don't like them. So, I'm down to two pair of shoes. <laughs> these are my patch tennis shoes. Can you see that? Even fucking made patches and shit like that in there. Resewed. Only in other countries, not in America, can you get this done. So, you got to have shoes like this. Uh, if you get boots and Doc Martens and all that fancy stuff, great. But these, you know, good walking shoes that uh, the gang helped me pick out when I was up with them. Those I try to use sparingly because otherwise I will wear them the fuck out again. These are uh, what I normally wear around, especially in desert countries. Nice and light. And I noticed that it's wearing out a lot less quickly than the uh, Georgian sandals. You want something with the strap on the back, though, or otherwise you're going to fuck up your toes and they're going to hurt. And you're going to say, why, God, why? Why? But um, the only reason that I would even consider keeping the other ones is just because they're easy shower shoes and stuff like that. But... Carrying extra stuff sucks. Don't do it if you can get away with it. And this is what I call the ironic pile. Here we've got normal uh, hooded sweatshirt, zip up front. This is a uh, light outer jacket. If I wear both at once, I can survive in most winter climates unless it's really intense. And I've got an umbrella. Obviously none of this shit's doing me a lot of good in Egypt. but. I'm carrying it around because eventually I'm going to be fucking out of Egypt. So it's an extra um, half a kilo or something like that of weight. It's not too much weight. I keep them strapped to the outside. I've had so many people go, Ooh, your, your coat, it's, it's getting dirty here. The lens looked a little dirty. But I don't care. It can be completely dirty if it's not getting torn up and stuff like that. I'm not planning on wearing this fucker in the desert. So... Just keep it strapped to the outside, that way you minimize the amount of space you use inside your bag. If you've got plenty of space inside your bag, sure, stuff it the fuck in there. But otherwise, and, and in the bottom if you're in a fucking desert country. But if I get to Nepal or whatever, I might like that. Or I'll get a fucking yak skin coat. The thing you gotta remember with all the stuff you're packing is it's gonna get lost, it's gonna get stolen, it's gonna get broken, it's gonna get damaged, it's gonna, you know, it, it's all temporary shit. You might have it for a few days, you might have it for a few months. After that, it go bye-bye. Goodbye. No. 
Another note on coats and stuff like that that you have strapped to the outside of your bag, you want to make sure to have enough room to put them inside the bag if you have to. If you're going through like airport and you're checking your bag as your luggage, which is fucking scary if it's your house, then they're going to ask you to put it inside. If you simply don't have the room, you lose! Miscellaneous other shit. Uh, you've always got your different power converters and stuff. That's the Australian one, so angry. Some sort of fucking thing, I don't know what it is. This is my uh, ankle holster thing. I put this on my ankle and strap it on, but I have unique medical problems that keep me from using it because my fucking legs are always bloated and swollen. I don't know why. Um, but it is the most secure thing I've got. So if I'm in a really high risk area, I'd fucking break it out for a day. I'm not gonna wear it extended wear. All of your fucking cords and everything. A uh, pirate bandana. Well, a pirate bandana is very important, especially if you worship the flying spaghetti monster. That way you can dress up as the Pastafarian on holy days. I think it's a religion that makes as much sense to me as any of the other ones. So, and of course, all this shit's in waterproof bags. This is a weird thing that they've got in this country. It actually plugs into the USB, and it gives you internet. I got this in Egypt. It's good for one month. I don't know if it'll ever be recharged, but it was four dollars, so I was like, "Fuck it." And that way, I'm always sure of having really, really horrible internet. I also carry my laptop, which is uh, currently hooked to the slowest internet in the world. It has been uploading 141 megabytes for the last several hours. Hopefully, it will someday finish. I'm also going to do something that no travel writers, travel show, or anything like that I've ever seen has done, and that's actually show with you what's in my toiletry kit. Reason is, because I think it'll be helpful, most people pack too much shit. Okay, nose hair trimmer. Not really necessary lately because, you know, I've been in parts of the world where they do it for you at the barber, unlike fucking American barbers are about worthless. Uh, this is a magic marker, it just kind of ended up there. Drugs, uh, medicines for different days of the week. Ooh, it also makes a handy rattle for, you know, anything I need a rattle for. Body wash. You can use this on your hair, your body, everything. Keep it nice and clean. When you can get a shower, that is. Toothpaste. Running low. Need more. Toothbrush. Get the ones that come in its own box. Seriously, it'll make you happy that you've got it because, um... They, they go bad rather quickly, I've noticed, on the road. Uh, I used to have one that came in like a fancy case type deal. And I was thinking, oh, I'd just brush my teeth. And then, you know, oh, no water, no problem. Wrong. After about a couple months, it really fucking starts to reek. I don't know why, maybe I've got old man breath. Dental floss. Nice. Lotion. Yeah, you can make fun if you want, but in the fucking desert, your skin gets dried out, or also it's just like a good general medicinal salve. Deodorant. Honest to God, the American deodorants suck compared to the European ones. Like, this little can has more actual... It's lasting a lot longer than the big cans I get in the States of deodorant. We're getting fucking ripped off in the States, okay? Q-tips. Good for more than just swabbing your ears. I recommend carrying a few. Right now I've got a few more than a few, but they come in a big fucking container and you feel like an idiot throwing them out. So, I also like to keep everything in these hefty click lock bags. You can see through them so you know what's in there. There's no fucking guesswork like with these. Honestly, the hefty things, you could totally replace all of your other bags with the uh, big freezer bags that have the uh, click lock thing on them. Just drag this across to there, you know, click lock. For those of you who have never fucking seen one before, you know who you are. Plus, uh, if you're getting your bag searched and stuff like that, they hopefully won't tear it open and rifle through it. Because they can fucking look through it and see what's in there. I recommend having all your toiletries in one bag. That way when it's time, when you need to grab the shower, because if you don't grab it immediately or it's three other people are going to try to fucking grab it, you can grab just one bag, 
your towel and whatever you're using to clean yourself with and fucking hustle in there. So I have everything in one nice, easy to grab bag. I also like to have mine in an easy to grab location. Sometimes you're on a train or something like that. I like to keep my bag up here in the top pocket so I can just grab it when I need to uh, freshen the fuck up because it, it's not easy on the road. Yeah. One note on these things, I have not found anybody overseas that sells this shit. I don't know why. If you need to take medicines, bring an extra one along. Also might be a good idea to have it in its own separate bag because sometimes, yeah, sometimes these things catch on something and pop up. Real pain in the ass to have your pills spilled all over. And if it's going into this bag, then it, you know, and your shampoo leaks, then, well, it's going to be a, it's going to be a bitter pill to swallow. One thing that did not make the cut is the stuff I bought in England. I remember thinking, oh, this is a really good price. It's stuff to wash your own clothes with. You don't need it. There's always some guy willing to wash your fucking shirt for 20 cents. Don't fucking take it. Unless you're in Western Europe and sticking to Western Europe, then it might be a good idea. But for the rest of the world, Well, even though the call to prayer is still going, again, I'm going to give you guys a lowdown on uh, laundry bags. Dirty, clean. All the clothes pretty much just get stuffed into this, and then you stuff the whole thing into the bag. That's it. When I first started, I had this weird thought that I'd keep all my clothes in like waterproof bags and shit like that. And I discovered that the big bag has like this rain cover thing that go, comes out of the ass end of it. You can go over the backpack. Even if it hadn't been for that though, I'd still stuff them all in this bag and then just stuff the bag in there. Because honestly, it's a lot faster and easier. If your clothes get wet, use that line we talked about before, fucking dry them. If your clothes are getting wet and it's that kind of fucking day, chances are good you're not going to have a shower anyway. Uh, if you really want to uh, keep all these clothes nice and uh, dry, just get a big fucking uh, garbage bag and put it on those. In fact, I wish I had a garbage bag. All I got is these little bags that I'm saving just in case I want to take them with me. But, and then keep a separate bag for your clothes when they're dirty. Uh, you want something that like this one I found in the hostel because whoever it had belonged to left and forgot it. So I said, who's this? They said, I guess it's yours. I said, thank you, Badumi Hostel. But, um, yeah, it's, it's convenient and easy. You can give it to the, the lady who does laundry. Uh, just as easy as a uh, big bag from a grocery store, supermarket, mall, whatever. Something like that. I used to have a lot more miscellaneous stuff. I used to have like condoms, fat people need not to. I used to have a, a super glue, sewing kit, all that shit, gone. Because some asshole wanted to rob my bag, he took all that shit. Anyway, so that's all gone and uh, you know, to try to look on the bright side of being fucking robbed, I lost a lot of weight that I didn't need. It probably ended up in a landfill somewhere, hopefully with the guy who stole it. and. Uh, yeah, until I need something, I'm not fucking replacing it. That's for damn sure. As far as sewing kits and stuff go, again, Western Europe, yes. Rest of the world, no. Some guy willing to fucking sew your pants for like 10 cents. Fucking let him do it. So, that's the laundry. And I think that's pretty much everything. I've got the computer. It's got its own power cords, but I'm not going to unplug it to show you those. You've seen computer power cords. Be sure to read your computer and electronic devices carefully. I used to be carrying around this big fucking heavy charger thing that must have weighed a couple kilos. And then uh, somebody smarter than me goes, hey, according to your computer, it can handle whatever fucking power you want to run through it. All you need is the, uh, the adapter thing, you know, little plug-in changer. That's it. So I managed to dump that fucking thing. Yeah, it's scary as fuck the first time you plug it into, uh, you know, different people's powers. But... If you don't need that, don't fucking carry it. And see, I think that's it. I know that's not it. There's one other thing I want to talk to you about, and this is very important. So important, I forgot it. 
I got lucky and found these. This is an extra set of glasses I picked up. I also had another set of glasses, but apparently the thief wanted my glasses also. Prescription glasses. Why? Cock. Anyway, so I do have an extra set of glasses. Also, I've got this. This stuff here, including this, this bandana, is like all my nighty night time kit. Bing! Uh, my nighty night type kit. Um, this here is a cheap MP3 player, eye drops, glass case, other eye drops, uh, head flashlight. You know, you can attach it to your fucking head, like for reading and stuff. Uh, throat spray, uh, headphones, another fucking flashlight for going to the room or bathroom in the middle of the night with the other key for the lock on it that you saw earlier. Keep all that shit wrapped up because, you know, in one bundle, I just keep it tied in a bandana because if any of it gets wet, it's no big deal. And that way when it's time to go to bed, boom, you got you just pull that out and go. I recommend, well, okay, it is a big deal. I got fucking MP3 player there. Fuck it, it's wrapped in a bandana. I'm sure that'll keep water out somehow by fucking magic. Anyway, um, I recommend uh, getting something you can sleep to on MP3 player because unless you do that, all the strange foreign sounds and donkeys braying and cocks cockadoodle doing all fucking night long will drive you absolutely mental. If you've got some sort of like, I use rain, other people use like pink noise, stuff like that, white noise, static, whatever. Just have that recorded on there in addition to whatever trash songs you want to listen to. And that will really help make them going to sleep easier. Otherwise, it may take you a week or two before you get a good night's sleep, according to some people I've talked to. So I definitely recommend that. So that's pretty much all the gear that I'm carrying right now. Um, I kind of wish it was more in some aspects, but my fucking tired, old, crippled fucking body says I'm glad it's not. Uh, total gear weight, last time I had a weight, came in like 15 and a half kilo. So, not very fucking much, but to me it feels like a lot more because I'm also carrying a big belly. Big belly. Which will get fed soon. So, if you have any more questions for me or anything like that, let me know. Hope that answers everything. See ya.